Hello, greetings, and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 3. It is me, Variax, with Geralt. And... Aww. And some Nilfgaardian soldiers. <laughs> As we approach the end game. Thank you all very much for joining me for this episode. And thank you all very much, those of you who provided um, input on my question last time, which is pretty much, tell me your favorite bits about the game and or LP. And I'll try and put them into, will it help me to, uh, to, to gather my thoughts for the end credits, which may be in this episode. I don't know, don't know if this is the last one or, or how long the end game is, but. Oh, that seems really loud. It's loud thunder. That's all it was. Loud thunder. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's talk to Avalak when you're ready to fight. So, Geralt, ready? I am indeed ready. Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. I give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ede eich blame, ede me. Elven bauble worked. They approach. Galib one This time. No, Tyrell. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll 
I'll not stop with his staff. Hey guys, hello. How are we all doing today? <laughs> wow, one hit each? Okay. Ah, good. Should she be this powerful now? <laughs> Alright, what? Well, so, do I need to kill them all? But it doesn't look like there's going to be much of a problem. Okay, it does seem really loud. I'm going to turn it down. Why would it be louder now? That's really annoying. Like last episode, you suddenly decided to be all, I'm going to be like freaking loud. Not what we need, is it really? Music seems fine. It's just the effects, I think. Don't keep half an eye. Um... Oh, hang on. I'm just gonna... Put it down here. Um... It still seems really freaking loud. I don't know, something... something's changed my end. Not something we need at this stage of the game. There we go. Right, I think this will spawn forever. Let's go up here. Yeah, serious pest. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yeah, she is, she is not happy. Oh, that's what we're looking for. And there he is. Cyril, I await. Good for you, dude. All right, he's taking a few more hits than the others. Let's just see what he does, right? I don't know what he's doing, really. It's a fancy dance. Three hits is good, it seems. You first, then those bitches of the lodge. Oh, that's harsh. Violet. You didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. We've got, we've he's proportionally lost more health than us, more health than us. So, for now. Nope. Almost, Sila. Almost. Hmm. 
Junkyard! I like how she saved herself there. I felt I felt like Geralt was gonna like enter at that point. But she saved herself with less of her strength that you time. I like that. Win. Even should you kill me. Ow. You see, it's not so simple. Okay, we've got a buddy on the way. I could use some signs and stuff. How about some fire? Fire. Oh boy. Probably shouldn't get distracted with these guys. You cannot win. Instant gets distracted. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Thanks for that. Ow! Just... Alright, so I... Ooh, okay, I actually died. <laughs> I'm not used to that. <laughs> oh, right, it's gonna start at the start of uh, Geralt's part of the fight, I would imagine. So yeah, we need to be quicker. We're just like... Need to actually use space, which is unusual, right? Yeah, they hurt. Not used to space. I was like, don't use space. Now suddenly I've got to use space. You see, it's not so simple. I know where that came from. Wind's really good as well, obviously. Yeah, it's excellent. Okay. So we'll get some healing on the go. You cannot win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cannot win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usual, usual villain tropey dialogue. Thank you for that. Uh, I need stuff that increases. I'm not going to see it. <laughs> Grounders. Yeah, that's that's the that's what I need. That's it. Even should you kill me. It. Oh yeah, get, get that. Out. Get that. Yeah. Okay, it's very very vulnerable when you're summoning those um those in. I'm gonna frankly ignore. Where are you? Oh, but you're gonna make that. Not you. Okay, is the Quen up? Is now. Yeah, the elementals are just a distraction. Oh, he's in this. Nice. Three of them now. Why would he stop that, right? Oh, never mind. You cannot win. Even should you kill me. I think three is all that's going to be on the on this on the field. Right, yeah. Go in there. Ah, you're in your own. I can use them as shields. Nice. No, right. 
shield up, shield, shield, shield. Good, we get in there slowly but surely. Yeah, okay, I've got the measure of this one, I think. I think he held up shooting there, that's pretty clever. Duck. Weave. <laughs> okay, in there. Ow! Okay, you're over there. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hurt. But you. <laughs> oh, you cannot win. Even should you kill me. So better me you get. Okay, all right, something new stage. Your bodies have gone. Oh, you are you gone? You done? Nope. <laughs> Last of your strength. No reason to rush. <laughs> I've just unselected this. Okay, so that fight, yeah, um, I found it all right. I found it. I found it. Once I'd got the measure of it, fairly easy. Ignore the in all the ice things. Um, go and get it. Like I said, I, I enjoyed how serious hit by herself. It didn't have didn't have Geralt rushing in to save her, which would have been you know fairly generic and frankly kind of what what I was kind of thinking just like ah, you know coming from the back but no she, she escaped herself so i like that and uh yeah sort of his entrance of how he sort of like recovered from the from the blast and all that i like how she took out his staff and and then uh you know wickened them both so that let and let Geralt come in and finish the job good stuff all right okay and now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna like not die um good thing we good thing it's not oh boy bad things happening up there this is really somatic um somatic as well Cinematic. Somatic? Yeah, cinematic. Like, what is going on up there? This is a really good way to show that, yeah, there's stuff going on. This is really good. Yeah, this is really excellent storytelling. The bad things are happening. I like that a lot. Saved? Well, I guess so. Fuckin' out! No chance! Yorni! Come on, guys. Have you seen Siri? She was with your ass. You'll not cut through their feet and toothache. Push them in the sea. What are we doing? Go fire. Yeah, Siri just cut these down like nothing, right? That's a, that's a really nice way to um, to contrast her her abilities with ours. 
Excellent stuff. So it's not, the game's not saying, hey, look, you know, she's really powerful. She's, you can tell from the gameplay. Oh, wait a minute. I need to heal. There we go. Not where we need to be, though. <clears throat> you guys can deal with them. Okay, that worked better. Yeah. Who's next? Who wants to taste Skellige Steel? Hi, Helma. Helma, you seen Siri? Find the noggle fur. We'll drown all you bastards till the bay is black with your corpses. What the hell? Which ones? Who we to shoot us? Ow. Whack it till it dies. Yeah, the crits are really good. The uh, regular attacks, not so much. Nice. Fight! It's personal now. Really shouldn't make it personal against the Hound of the Wild Hunt. But I did. I can't save my game right now. Getting distracted. That's where we need to go. Any last words? Shut your trap! Fight! You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. Stop. <laughs> okay, so we've got quite a limited area to fight in. Let's just let's just get all the tools we have available. Oh man, okay, this is not good. Um, I don't think any oils are going to be any good. I mean, I guess he might. No, we're using silver though, aren't we? Yeah, well, I don't think it'll make any difference. No, he's not a man. <laughs> I don't know what he is, so it will be a beast or a cursed one. I could check, but nice music. So we don't need to kill a whale. We'll need healing. Superior. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've got a we've got the better super. Uh, got blizzard. I don't need blizzard. I know I'm just looking through menus here when there's a big fight, but 
you know. I don't use any of these. The toxicity is one of the things I like about these. Okay, then. I think Vitality is going to be useful. And we, I'm going to lose health right about now. <laughs> Gonna dodge pretty much until my shield comes up. Am I pressing the wrong button? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I meant to press that one. Oops. Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hate portals. I hate portals. <laughs> oh, you're about to change the scenery. Okay. I mean, that was cool. Oh, I see. Push him off the edge. I mean, that'd be kind of neat. No. <laughs> I got him caught here. Yeah, okay. Not for long, huh? That hit him as well? Hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get rid of all this. Oh, never mind. Oh, all this toxicity because I pressed the wrong button. Something like white honey or something that does that. So I don't think I've got anything affecting me that's too important. Okay, so we'll use it on this one. Okay, now I can freaking heal again. <laughs> I don't think that hurt him, but it was funny. <laughs> Oi, shield. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> nice and slow and steady. Look, I play Dark Souls, right? I know the traps you're gonna fall into. Was one of them. Should I start like, getting cocky now? <laughs> Should I? I say, you got nothing, dude. You got nothing. And then I run straight into one of them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there it is. As soon as I say it, I screw up. It's just how it, how it works, right? Where's he gone? There you are.
Sink them on somewhere. Okay. There you go. Shield up again. Happy with that. Shield's so freaking important. Should we... Oh, the crossbow, it does nothing. Best weapon in the game, come on. You put the boots in there? Come on, dude. Even more refined than that. Um. He's gone, he's off. He's scarpered, I guess I'll follow him. Oh, we're back here, oh man. Okay, this way you wanna die? That's fair enough. Oh, the crossbow's nothing. I wanted to kill him with the crossbow. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Ooh, that's a hurt. against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Way too many bloody portals. I got a sword. Where's Siri? What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! is open. We must reach the tower, quickly. Stop Avalok, while this can still be reversed. What are we gonna find there? If the tomes are to be believed, nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity, time, Undvik, all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this. Bring the NL here, or something far worse. At least we know where to look for Siri. Hmm. Follow me, and stay alert. Oh, stay alert. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If I wouldn't have been alert if you hadn't have said that. I've got a new song. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Keep it as a souvenir. Siri. What do you think Avalok wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. I knew it, I knew it would be there. Yeah, people like, uh, you go there later in the game. You didn't say it was the end game, guys. You didn't say that was, <laughs> like, literally the last thing in the game. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I love how we're walking as well. It's kind of nice. If I run, does she run? Okay. Because, all right. Shit. An earthquake. We must hurry. Damn it! 
That ship's about to disintegrate. Hide in the hollow on the other side. Go! Uh, I'm gonna have to have a bit of a rest. Or not to lighten the mood or anything. Or a chicken sandwich. End of the world, no. Time for chicken sandwiches. Okay, so the sky is on fire. Grab the horse. We'll save time. Uh, I want this one. Faster. It's not even roach, man. Am I going this way? Horses' fear level should be a lot higher than that. I'm telling you, mine is. <laughs> Need more chicken frickin' sandwiches. More on the way. We must hurry, Garrett. The gates between the worlds are growing wider. another way from here. It's really, really nice end game. This really nice. Knew we couldn't trust that Avalak dude. Knew it. What happened to them? The White Frost. Damn it! It'll bury us. Wait. Gavares Tavol. Keep near me. charging into the uh we've been there before girl you should know you should know how this works it was a different world but now it is of course this world oh it's not good oh nice well done ow 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 do you mind moving up a bit do you mind just a little bit thank you that's good of you Yeah, the sound seems alright now. I don't know why it was weird before. I think it's alright. It's hard to... Guy, I hope it is. I'll just let you kill him. And do everything. There it is. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Oh. 
Calm before the storm. And for more chicken sandwiches. Oh, Avalak, what have you done? All right, let's have a look at this marker. It wasn't there before then. This is Todd, um, Gvatcha. Okay, an ancient tower in which the victim days in the elves and challenges masses of the elves. Okay, that was there before. I thought it might have changed. attack one unarmed wouldn't be so sure I'm in a foul mood I am not your foe I am merely helping Cyrilla I don't believe you can't not after all that's happened will you believe me Avalok speaks the truth I asked him to help me open the tower because I aim to enter it didn't think it worthwhile to tell me Warn me of your plans? I'm sorry, I know I should have. But I feared you'd not understand. <sighs> Feels like I'm talking to Yennefer. Leave with me, please. I will go. Once I emerge from the tower. If I emerge. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. Prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. I couldn't care less about the White Frost. Let's just leave. Go. No, Geralt. I've seen what is to come. I know destruction approaches. The worlds will freeze, one after the other, and all life will be eradicated. Only I can prevent this from happening. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting.
The gentleman will follow. Hmm. The game ends as it starts. Captain. Report. Fort Kite Squadron. The Fulsberg Division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at a briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. So I'm gonna just play the game. See what's going on. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go and see Emir. You're gonna make me get a shave? Change my clothes? Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? That's none of your business. Not anymore. Hmm. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? You weren't a good father. Siri saw you as a threat. Even if she'd asked me to tell you something, I doubt you'd have liked to hear those words. Understood. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. 
We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Time I was on my way. Good luck to you. Where you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. You take care now. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we? So, Siri gave the ultimate sacrifice. We're back in um, White Orchard, yeah. Hello, Roach. At least you're still around. What, think you've got it tough? You've a roof over your head, that's something. When the Black Ones laid siege to Vizima, they burned the outskirts to the ground. So I guess we're going to go and meet Roach. And Geralt to say what he does next. Yeah, that's kind of scuppered our plans, hasn't it? Maybe we can go and see Yennefer. Am I surprised? Like, not entirely. Child of Destiny and all that. Screw of heart and all that kind of stuff. Making the ultimate sacrifice at the end. Didn't especially want it to happen, obviously. But, you can see why it has. There it is. The ruined fortress. Okay. We got Roach, right? Great setting for this. Sunset. You know, the red sky and everything. The music. Perfect. Absolute perfect. Um, environmental storytelling. Fit in the mood and everything. Take it easy. Master Ort. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. It's 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, had my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. Right, so it's not Roach, obviously. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. And now we're going to the inn. This is weird. This is a weird ending. Hmm. 
All right, we'll go to we'll 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 go to the inn now. We got that was a bit of a no-brainer to know what that was called. We're gonna use it. it doesn't give any damage, but well, I guess that's not the point, right? Have you gone? Master Witcher, over here. Plenty of blades to try if it's your will. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, so it's just reset to how it was when we first got yeah. here. I like the touch with the Chamberlain now. Telling you to follow him. That's I'm pretty pretty sure exactly what happens at the start of the game. The gentleman will follow. Pretty sure it's exactly the words that he says. So I like that. We waited all night. Okay, so a dawn breaks. This is all scripted, so. The sun sets. And the sun, the sun dawns obviously and we get a we get a new sword. Zareel. Don't know why you'd call it anything else. Why is the house on fire? Should we worry about this? Wonderful. Well. Don't let him drive you back. Don't let him drive you back. Thank you. Wounds need a look. I'll manage now. Hunters could come back. I'll not wait round for them. Good luck. I could use it. Something ends, something go, begins, go. huh? All right. Faster. Who do you think you are? Yeah, I mean... Uh-oh. I've minimized the game. Whoops. <laughs> what? He's a quick devil. 
Yep. Thank you for your help, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Oh, man. Oh, even better. Made it all worth it. Don't put yourself away. Yeah, so definitely bad things going on. Definitely tyranny is afoot. Peaceful times have not come over. Yep. Over here, sir. That's him. He must your mind. They say you have enough God's spies in your home. Me? Never. Did he say that? Come with us. <laughs> you bastard. Take him. Mercy, sir. Enough. Yeah, let's see what's going on there. Honeycombs, pay the top coin, large coins is welcome. The herbalist. The herbalist is probably the one we just saved. Witches, false healers, charm merchants, and filthy non humans are hereby deemed outlaws. All who provide shelter to or otherwise abet, their like shall be tried and executed by the will of the Holy Tribunal of the Eternal, Eternal Fire. Fire. Meaning they'll be burning witches. Oh, don't you worry. They will. Yeah, they already have. <laughs> Is it done? You, you, yes. you bloody game! Did he believe you? Yes! I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. <laughs> Let's try it out then. Okay, all right, you got me. You got me. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad and Neath. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned into Meria and Evern, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalist pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, Freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. 
As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Bar Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far a secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovil. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. Okay, this was the last episode of Let's Play The Witcher 3 with me, Variax. Thank you all very, very much for watching. It's been a long one, 150 hours pretty much. Uh, we got there in the end. Um, thank you for all the hints and tips throughout, all your observations, and uh, and sticking with me. Like I say, it's been a long one, and some of you are still here. And some of you are still discovering this, as I record this, and it's really nice to see. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it too and reach this stage. Um, next, we'll, we'll, uh, Hearts of Iron. Hearts of Iron will be next. <clears throat> um, and then the other one. That will be on a completely different playlist, though. So this is the, uh, the end of this playlist on YouTube. You can find Hearts of Iron. I'll probably, you know, link it in the description or something. Uh, I'll recommend it in the boxes that come up. Anyway! So, uh, well, that was a long game. That was a freaking long game. And I'm really, really glad that last time I asked for your thoughts on it because that fit nicely into an episode. So, all in all, before we get into the specifics of, of the game, like, I'm just going to give my broad opinion of it. And it was, it was great. It was brilliant. Um, really enjoyed it. Very, very good. So much happened. Like, there's so much detail in the game. I think that the, the thing that really makes this stand out is is the detail. How there's pretty much not a single generic quest in it. There's always some twist going on. Um, even even something that, that, that starts fairly simple always has something in there. Um, a reason behind what's happening or or some sort of third party that's that's uh, that's that's changing things or whatever to um to make it interesting and i was gonna uh, you know initially um i was gonna st start and think i'm not gonna do all the side quests and i, I, I don't I'm saying i did all the side quests but i i was gonna purposefully leave a lot of the side quests because Frankly, I'm used to the Elder Scrolls, <laughs> um, and and that tends to be tends to be you know it's a disservice to to paint it with such a broad brush, but tends to be go into some caves, kill some goblins, get the loot, and that's exactly what happens. And I quickly found that in in this game that what wasn't the case, and um, I I find myself really interested in freaking everything. Um, like absolutely everything. Oh, what's what's over there? What's what's this? What 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 will this quest lead to? Oh, a quest to investigate a haunted house, or or some strange noises, or whatever, or someone's uh, brother's being kidnapped, and it, it it's always interesting, and it's never never straightforward. And it's always this leads to that, or that leads to that, and the amount of thought that they put into it, because the sheer amount of stuff and content. And the sheer size of the game is, is mind-boggling. Um, it's 150 hours. Um, 
yeah um so that's my overall thoughts is that they're, they're freaking epic um compared to, to the other games um I, I really don't remember much about the witch one at all i think that for its time the witch one was great but i think it will really show its age now um so it'll be harder to get into um i really don't remember much of it at all um it was a long long time ago that i played the witcher one we're talking 10 years so it's really really hard for me to draw specifics on it i think there's a there's a lot of of, of things in it that that resonate with this and i think there, there are themes that obviously they keep going through it um but specifics will, will escape me um i think the witcher one if you if you were to tell people to wear the witcher one they would struggle with um how it looks i guess um even though in my, my opinion, because I play games from 20 years ago, it looks terrible. Um, and and how it plays. Um, but, I, I, you know, it's not a bad game at all, but I think, yeah, it's restricted a lot to its time. The Witcher 2, I really, really like. I think it's underrated, frankly. I think the writing is underrated in it. Um, I think that people should give it a go. Um, people say, oh, no, just play The Witcher 3, The Witcher 3. And I'm like, no, play The Witcher 2. I think The Witcher 2 is awesome. I really like how it branches out and there's two completely different stories in it halfway through uh, that merge again and give you two completely different perspectives of what's going on. The scale is much smaller. Um, the game is smaller and shorter. And in a way, that's a strength because you don't have to spend you know it's not such a gigantuan undertaking to start a game that's going to be you know 100 hours plus for the average player um you can finish in about 30. so the witcher 2 I, I would i would gladly play again um and and really enjoyed it i think it holds up there's some you know little things about it there that, that i don't like like how alchemy works and how you can you've got to take potions before fights and so they tend to be useless <clears throat> um but all in all, um, yeah, freaking, uh, yeah, the Witcher, the Witcher 2 is, is great. Like I say, the Witcher 3 is, is awesome. If I had complaints about the Witcher 3, there's one thing that I didn't like about it, pretty much, that stands out. Like, if I was like, why did you do that? The crafting. Why bother with such an in-depth crafting, um, system in it? Really don't see the point i don't think it would be missing if instead of getting all of these recipes um and diagrams for stuff you just found the stuff right why not just find the stuff why not or i found the restaurant so now i've got to find this and that and i can go into that menu and craft this to get this and then we go into that and get that i don't see the point i mean i it's 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 a checkbox and i've said this like many times before is that i really find that game developers feel that oh crafting something we need to have because every game in the every successful game has crafting and crafting can be good in the game that that centers around but in this i just found it a bit of a distraction it's like uh i just roll my eyes i'm like oh come on just get on with it um so yeah i i i take the crafting out i'd really really reduce it i don't think it added any anything i think you could really dumb that down and no one would notice you could still have the same resulting gear um but just have less stuff um <laughs> to pick up and use there's so much stuff and you can break that down and add that and i just yeah okay i could have done without that really uh gwent brilliant love gwent gwent was amazing i played all the gwent that i could once i get my head around it um and um yeah i really enjoyed gwent it maybe doesn't fit with the setting quite as well as as it could it's a bit in depth honestly um i think it's great as a standalone game and um but i, I can't see people playing it in pubs that much um which is what happens quite a lot but that's my only real um oh yeah, there's jesse cox uh dodger and angry joe yeah um <laughs> um there's those trolls the fatty trolls i remember that so yeah that's a, but, but gwen you know as as a sub game is great but I'd, um you know maybe as a practical thing for people to play in the game um not so much really <clears throat> so let's get into this list of things um that i'm going to just wade into um of, of points in the game that that um people pointed out and and i, and I thought yeah actually that was that was really freaking good I'm gonna point out um i'm gonna get a pen and paper for this so letho right let's talk about letho um so he's the villain in the witcher 2 and at the end of that you can fight him or not um 
because he's got his own reasons for doing what he's doing. And at the end of my version of The Witcher 2, I let him go. And so that's what I said in this, and then we met him again, and then he was in the Battle of Kiamoran, then he went on his way, and I really liked how they brought him back in again. And he could have just not been in the game at all. Um, and I wonder how that quest would have gone if, um, if you said that you had killed him. Or maybe it wasn't a choice at the start. I'm not really sure, because it was a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure it was a choice, and, then, and if it was, I wonder how that quest would have gone when you found him in that abandoned homestead. And then the guys come to, uh, and then you say, then you go and get his revenge on the people who would double cross him. So yeah, um, really like that. The Bloody Baron um, is a fantastic quest line that really sucks you into the game. It's quite early on. It's, it's like one of the main story hooks to bring you in, and the complexities with that, with Bloody Baron and what's happened to his family, and then the witches and everything like that. And then how that merges with like the kids that are there and 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 yeah it's just just it's just so good how that and now how it's brought back later in the game and 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 Cirilla fights them and oh, it's, it's just so good how everything wraps around that's something i really like how everything wraps around and now we can talk about that little side quest um you, you stumble across some monsters there's like a godling a doppler and i and ice troll and a werewolf and the werewolf has banded these guys together to go and get Geralt and you can refer to things that you've done in the game 60 hours ago to convince them not to attack you say like, ah but that one time I came across that Doppler and I helped him and they're like oh really maybe you're not as bad as they think and yeah I, I, it's the way things combine to create an overall narrative despite the the length and the size of the game like everything is connected really really good you know, I, I just I just love that. So it makes everything just seem real. Everything's so in interconnected. Excellent stuff. Uh, another quest by Kyle with oh, the rats eating that woman alive. That will remain with me forever. Um, and she was paralyzed because she took a, a sleeping potion. And they thought that she was dead. And then you go and get her lover back. And yeah, that's really a memorable, a memorable thing with, with, with Kira. And I, I know she like wanders off with Lambert, I think it is. Um, yeah, that that was a, that was a great quest and a really nice um, arc for those characters as well, and how you could really screw that up and 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 and, and um, tell Kira to do something else and she could die, I imagine, and not be there for the final fight or, or at least the fight at Kiamoran against the the Wild Hunt. Um, Kiamoran is really good. Going to see that again uh, and how they've again. Put stuff in from The Witcher 1. When The Witcher 1, um, Kia Moran's attacked at the start of the game, and the holes in the walls are still there from that fight, and who's going to notice that? Oh, people, people obviously did. But that's so good. That's such the attention to detail to, to go back to the, you know, a game that was made 10, 15 years ago and and, and still have that there, and, and Vizami going, yeah, I still need to fix that. Really, really nice. Um, and how you, how you got drunk with all the witchers, and uh, and Yennefer and um, and Siri there and, and just have a bit of, um, of of levity with 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 things. The game strikes so many different tones really well. It does like heavy emotional stuff. It does high action fantasy stuff. When it does comedy as well, excellent. Such as uh, Geralt acting in a play to draw out doo doo. Um, really really enjoyed that. And I, it caught me by surprise. I didn't think Geralt would. I didn't think that's the way that was going because I didn't think Geralt doing that, but he did, and um, yeah, that was that was really, really enjoyable to uh, to play through and choose his line and that sort of stuff. And um, just I really liked how the game put him in places that he didn't want to be. It put him in like a doublet and stuff, and he had to go to parties and that kind of thing, like the party with Triss, um, where uh, we decided pretty much that Triss wasn't for us, and we go with Yennefer. Um, which is a story that 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 um, everyone likes as well. Um, but yeah, you, I guess you could you could have a romance with Triss if you wanted to, and it'd be completely different. And maybe it's Triss at the end who opens the barrier for you to get to Avalak at the tower. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's really cool how um, how it can branch that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how that would change. Don't regret going with uh, Yennefer though. The the last wish quest was really really nice with the with with the Jin or the genie, and um, and how you end the wish and they still love each other. I thought that's really nice. And uh, a lot of people don't like Yennefer, I think, but I think that 
Geralt likes her because she's his match. She's really sarcastic and and she doesn't pander to him and like like many of the other people do. And um so I think that's why um she really uh he really likes her. Story Guild Review has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world and search your witch contracts and adventure, but everything will be as it was before. The game's last chapter and quest tied to the main storyline no, will no longer be available. Thank you very much. So now we can continue. You've unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, create a new game, save, start a new game, choose a new game plus option, and select the save you created to put your character. Only saves created after unlocking new game plus option can be used for this purpose. Makes sense. I don't think I'll be doing that. <clears throat> So we are going to be doing the DLC, like I say, another another playlist. Um, I think I've pretty much covered every there, everything there. Um, and I talked all the way through the credits, which is quite an achievement because they're fairly long. But that's, that's no surprise because obviously a lot of people uh, spent a lot of time on this game. Um, a lot of losses, well, a lot of, lot, of, lot of like people died, like Crack and uh, Vesmir um, were killed off during this. So, um, things really, uh, progressed throughout the story, but Siri didn't frickin' die, you goddamn game. <laughs> I thought, like, I could see it happening. That's the thing, it was, it was frickin' conceivable, right? It was conceivable that, um... That, that Siri would do that and the way it was framed showed that that's kind of what happened. Brilliant directing um, with that. Um, I like finding her on, on, on in the Isle of Mists as well and then thinking she was dead and then Spirit came down and warmed her up and yeah, that was really heartwarming. So that's twice she thought that, well, I didn't think she was dead the first time. Um, the second time I did. Yeah, I thought that that was, that was kind of it. Uh, well, um... So that's it. Um, I'm going to go. I am going to go. I will see you. I'm going to take a, a short break of a couple of weeks and then I will return for Hearts of Stone in a different um, playlist. For now, that's it. There's Geralt uh, decked out in all his armor. Um, and uh, his story is not yet over. But for now, we're going to give him a rest and he's going to take a couple of weeks off in Kiamor. And... Um, We'll see you soon. Once again, I want to thank you all very much for joining me for um, this gigantuan Let's Play. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Cheers very much, everyone. You guys take care. Toodaloo.